Here you go? All right. With apologies to Veronica, who does not like um, self-stories. <laughs> And to those of you who have heard it before, because this is a story I tell almost every May for Mother's Day. And it's called Mother Love. The year is 1980, August to be exact. And this was a, a rather difficult time in, in my life because my mother had died that Easter Saturday. And I was still kind of getting over that. And, um, but it was also a happy time because we were going on vacation the next day. And I had the task of getting one of our apartments uh, ready to rent. We had a tenant ready to move in, but there were things that had to be done, and I was the official do-it-yourselfer in the family because I had the time since I was a stay-at-home mom, and I also had the, I like to do it. It was just lots of fun. So this particular day, um, it was a Saturday, and I was working all day on the apartment, getting everything ready, and the last thing I had to do was paint the, this little postage size stamp bathroom. This was the alley apartment, really small. And I'd been at it, and uh, my husband appeared in the doorway, and he said, you know, you've been really working hard all day. He said, when you get to a stopping point, come on home, and we'll go out to dinner. That was good. So I, I did get to a stopping point, put my paint tray and roller in the fridge, drove home, we went to dinner, I'm getting ready to go back, no car keys. Look everywhere I can think of, can't find them, take the purse, empty everything out on the purse on the sofa, no keys. My husband gets in his car, drives back to the restaurant, he's crawling around on the floor looking for the keys. He's putting his hands in the cushions of the, of the um, set, settee there and no, cush, no keys. Comes home and he says, look, we're wasting time. We're going on vacation in the morning. I know you have to finish. Just take my keys and, and go back and finish up. So I do. The whole trip, I'm talking to my mother. Mom, please help me find my keys. You know how this important this is to me. It's got my lockbox key on it. Being a stay-at-home mom, I had eased myself back into the workforce by getting my real estate license, and it was something you could do very easily. Um, with When the youngest went into nursery school, I, had, I could kind of work around. Um, times in our family at that point, they weren't tight, but they were very snug. And we were making it, but the lockbox key had a $75 deposit on it. And that, in 1980, was a big chunk for us. So here's the conversation with Mom. Please, Mom, we've got to find the car keys. I can't afford the 75 bucks if we don't find the lockbox key on my key ring. So we get, get to, the, to the apartment, and I retrieve the paint tray out of the fridge, start painting away. And I'm standing in the shower, still talking to Mom, and my eye happens to light on the toilet seat. This is a tiny little bathroom. It's tops down, right in the middle of the toilet seat, are my key ring with the keys. And tears just start rolling down my face. I'm just, oh, Mom, thank you, thank you. I'm just. You can't imagine how what a relief this is. And then I stop dead in my tracks. Chills start going up, down, up and down my spine as the realization hits me. There is absolutely no rational explanation for how the keys could get on the toilet seat because I had to have the keys to drive my car home. And to this day, nobody has ever been able to figure out how this happened. And it really did happen to me. Mm -hmm.